I'm Jess. I'm Jacob. And live from New York, we're reviewing Saturday Night. Coming up next. Saturday Night is a new film by director Jason Reitman about the first filming of SNL. Um, it stars an ensemble cast including J.K. Simmons, Rachel Sennett, Dylan O'Brien, like a billion other people. <laughs> um, and we're going to review it today. What did you think? I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. Uh, I was just smiling the whole time in my seat. It really did a great job of, I think, capturing the chaos and the excitement that went into you know, the 90 minutes before the first ever what is now Saturday Night Live, which is obviously an institution. And it was, you know, really interesting seeing most of most of what they showed in the movie actually happened. And I was just sitting there like, wow, like, I, I can't believe that they that they did it and that it's like that it, you know, wasn't an institution like we know it as now. Yeah, how I, I didn't know anything about it going in. Did you have any context for it or? Not really. I just knew I love SNL. I watch it uh, back home with my family all the time. Uh, I knew it had a great cast. I knew it was going to be fun as so I was like, I'm there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought that the pacing was really great. The whole thing. I mean, especially with the music, it like really keeps up this cool beat of um, it just the ultimate chaos that's going on around it. And I thought it was intoxicating to watch, especially as someone who wants to work in TV and like um, just, yeah, just the pace of it and the energy of it was so, so cool. Absolutely. Um, I mean, and to your point about the score, I think it was really cool. There was, you know, like the whole time there was a little like ticking beat and to me it was this counting down, you know, because the whole movie is set to the 90 minute clock and they keep cutting back to the time to like, you know, get you on the edge of your seat. Like, how are they possibly going to pull this off? And the music keeps counting down that time for you. And so I thought that was a really, like, effective way to, to show the passing of time. Yeah, I agree. Um, other than the score, though, what did you think? Should we talk performances? Yeah, we should definitely talk performances. Like you said uh, before, I mean, the cast is absolutely stacked. Uh, you have, you know, legends like Willem Dafoe and J.K. Simmons, and you have Finn Wolfhard playing like a tiny role in the movie. So just from top to bottom, amazing performances. Uh, my favorites were uh, Gabriel Lavelle as Lauren Michaels and Rachel Sennett. Um, they were both hilarious. Um, and I mean, I left that movie and I thought to myself, like, they really have like the whole future of like comedic Hollywood in this one movie. I was like, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It was, they were great. It was really cool. Like, especially because the movie was about, you know, 50 years ago when SNL came on, they were the new kids on the block. They were the, you know, the young up and coming generation of comedians. And they had those people in this movie who are now the up and coming generation of comedians. So I thought it worked really well. Um, everyone played, I mean, played their roles just great. I thought that, um, oh my gosh, the guy who played Chevy Chase. Um, Corey Smith, Corey, something like that. Corey Michael Corey Smith. Michael Corey Smith. Michael Smith. That's what it is. <laughs> he was great. Um, even some of the older cast members, Lamorne Morris, of course, yeah. amazing. I, I love Lamorne Morris. I love him. He he was so, so funny in this yeah. movie. Um, and so was J.K. Simmons. He <laughs> he just stole the show in every scene he yeah. was in. Oh, God. I did not expect <laughs> that one scene. No, definitely not. But, uh, but he did it great. And yeah. uh, there was like... Uh, that's another thing is there was so much um, shock value to a lot of the scenes in this movie, especially the one where he, um, you know, he's trash talking Chevy Chase and he <laughs> pulls out his penis. <laughs> yes. And um, there were a lot of scenes in the movie like this where it's, you know, how did this even happen? How was yeah. this a real story that happened? There's um, the story of, you know, Lauren Michaels going down to the bar across the street and finding a writer right before yeah. the llama on set. And just the whole thing was so insane. Yeah, it's I mean, and, you know, to our point earlier of how fun this movie is for us, like watching it, you know, it's obviously a product of, you could tell how much fun the cast was having on set. Uh, there was the scene where uh, Andrew Barth Feldman like goes on like an acid trip and all the other actors are like messing with him. And that scene was just like, <laughs> you could tell how much fun they were having. I was like, like this seems like such a great set to be on. And it really translated well, like through the screen. Yeah, yeah. And I, I at those scenes, I was cracking up when he was <laughs> freaking out about getting high. Um, I will say though, my biggest criticism of the movie, 
Um, I really am so mad that Nicholas Braun was played two different roles in it. It, I, I, I understand that his role was to be the more like calm, weird guy, but I just felt like every the whole movie had this crazy, intense pace to it, and every scene he was in, it just stopped. And I don't know, I, I didn't like the having him play two different roles. It didn't make sense to me. I'm a big Jim Henson fan, and I didn't love the way he was portrayed. But what did you think about it? Yeah, uh, that's a fair point. I think it's that is when like if there ever was a point in the movie when it sort of dipped and just was like okay like breather and like on one hand it's good to have moments like that but on the other hand you know it's I, I get what you're saying and I honestly like if I remember correctly it wasn't supposed to be that way like he was only supposed to play one role and then it was like a last minute thing and they had him play two which was it was weird it was like I didn't actually realize until after like I knew somebody was playing two roles but I wasn't super familiar with him before. So I like looked after him and I was like, oh, that was weird. You know, and I was <laughs> yeah. like, that kind of makes sense. So I think I had the thoughts that you were having, but I don't think they were in my head. <laughs> yeah. Like like materialized, if that makes yeah. sense. I was really following it beforehand and okay. just hearing the news of him playing two characters in the first place. I was like, oh, what's yeah, going on here? Um, but yeah, I think really he was the only performance I didn't love. Everyone else was yeah. great. Um, should we talk about the ending? I thought it, it ended a little bit abruptly, but that's just a symptom of the story, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think that's that's one of the criticisms I've seen for the movie, where it's like, you know, we wanted to see more. It ended kind of like, like you said, abruptly. But I think it, you know, I think it worked out nicely. Uh, I mean, I think we the point of the movie is to show us how they got to the point of starting SNL, or that first show. And uh, I think that's what they did, and I think they did it well. The last 15 minutes for me, I thought were amazing. Like when they've got, uh, what's his name? Billy Preston and his band and they're playing and everyone's coming together to make the show happen despite all their like character differences. It's just it's perfect. I loved it. Yeah, um, all that being said, what would you give the score? What would you give this movie on a scale of one to 10? I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I think it was incredible. I Like I said, I loved almost every part about it. Um, it was fun. I will definitely be watching it again uh, at some point soon. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I would have to agree with you. I'd also give it a 9 out of 10. I had a lot of fun on this movie. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. <laughs>